Hey guys, Cameron here. I'm gonna to talk to you about my newest hammock setup. I know I haven't had a hammock setup in a while, uh, but this is something that I got for me and my son on War Bonnet's uh, Memorial Day sale. I um, got two of their newest hammocks, the War Bonnet El Dorado, and I'll have a full review of those to come. Uh, but this is the setup that I got for me and my son. And uh, so this is ba basically based on Dutchware's uh, two hammock setup where they sell their uh, spreader bar with their special buckles and everything. Uh, but this is something that I came up with that's way cheaper for me. Um, it was going to cost me over $100 just in extras from uh, Dutch. And I went with the War Bonnet, uh, just normal webbing and buckle suspension, which I've had on my hammocks before. And I really like that. It's really simple. Um, I know it uh, weighs a little bit more, a little bit more bulky, um, but the suspension works good. So basically what it is, is the webbing and buckle suspension uh, with the carabiner at the top on each hammock. But uh, what makes this truly unique um, and is a dual purpose item is this trekking pole. Now I bought these trekking poles specifically for the Warbonnet Ridge Runner hammock. Um, you can use these. These are Mountain Smith Trekker FX uh, monopods is what they call them. They're basically a trekking pole that has a camera mount on top and uh, what this allows me to do between these two hammocks is use this trekking pole as uh, my spreader bar and uh, why I think this one is truly unique is it fits perfectly with these war bonnet uh, buckle suspension and why it fits so perfectly is uh, because each end uh, goes into these buckles and uh, works out perfect. Uh, sorry if this comes in and out of focus I'll try my best to keep it in focus so basically the reason that it works so good is the uh, what I do is take this cap this is the normal cap that comes on the end of the trekking pole it goes on right here and that's what it would look like when you're walking with it the screws right off to use as a camera monopod but I also take off the uh, flat plate that comes on here and that allows the screw that you would normally screw your uh, camera onto right there uh, to go right on. And that's what the other side looks like. Anyway, and so what I do is put that through the buckles. And that gives my hammock something to bite on. And then I just screw this on the end. That'll hold that right on there so it won't slip off. Also, you can keep it flush so you have no point sticking out that's flat right there and you got nothing to poke into your tarp then I'll swing over to the other side and this is the uh, bottom side of the trekking pole now I take the uh, snow baskets off mine obviously not dealing with snow or anything like that and the bottom part of it uh, just goes right through the buckles of the suspension and then I'll just take the rubber tip and put it right back over the side and that keeps the trekking pole on there. It's not going to come off. So you can adjust this trekking pole to whatever length you want. And you have a spreader bar of whatever size. And it also doubles as your trekking pole. So my son and I slept in this setup last night. Uh, the trekking pole did great. He had a lot of fun. It was his first night sleeping in a hammock. And uh, he said he's definitely ready to go try it out in the woods now. Um, like I said, I've used these exact poles for my War Bonnet Ridge Runner a bunch of times. They work great. It's almost like uh, War Bonnet and uh, Mountain Smith need to come up with some sort of partnership um, because these poles work great on uh, all their hammock products. Um, but this is a really great setup and uh, I'm glad it worked out. Like I said, you can adjust uh, your distance apart. My son's pretty small. We could have definitely uh, been even closer together. We had plenty of room. Um, but if you need more room, you can spread out even farther. Uh, these poles will run you about $30 a piece. Uh, you only need one for the setup. Uh, but if you want two to make a full uh, trekking pole pair, then uh, you can go that way. So they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, definitely way more inexpensive than going with uh, Dutch's full setup. Um, so I just thought I'd make this quick little video and share uh, what we use for this setup. Uh, I'll have uh, several more videos showing our double hammock setup, including the tarp and uh hopefully some more hammock adventures to come thanks for watching guys